Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you how to migrate inventory data from QuickBooks to NetSuite. Stay tuned. Here on my screen I have the main differences between an inventory adjustment and an inventory worksheet in NetSuite. This is something that you will need to consider before you upload the inventory balances from your previous accounting software. The first difference that I have on my screen deals with how each tool deals with changes in inventory quantities and values. When you use an inventory worksheet, you essentially reset the inventory balance and quantity to whatever amount you use in the inventory worksheet. In other words, the amounts that you put there are exclusive of the previous inventory information in NetSuite. If you have an inventory quantity of 10, and for the quantity column you use two, in the inventory worksheet, then NetSuite will reset that inventory count to. But if you use two in an inventory adjustment, then NetSuite will adjust that inventory quantity by two. In other words, it will increase the inventory quantity from 10 to 12, okay? The second difference that I have on my screen is that you can use serialized or lot number items with inventory adjustments. You cannot use those with an inventory worksheet. And if you use FIFO and LIFO or LIFO for your inventory costing, uh, then you will need to use an inventory adjustment. You can't use uh, inventory worksheet because that will reset your costing to an average in NetSuite, okay? Now, for purposes of this video, I'm going to be using the inventory worksheet tool. But before we do that, I want to show you what I have on my balance sheet. So when I uploaded my trial balance, I used this suspense account called Inventory QuickBooks in NetSuite. It has a balance of $9,845, okay? And that is the account that I'm going to use as an adjustment in my inventory worksheet. So if I use the correct amount, this suspense account will disappear. And on its place, I will have the correct inventory asset account in my balance sheet. Okay. Let me show you the download from QuickBooks. These are the three items that I'm going to be uploading to NetSuite. Their corresponding quantities are on the column G and the corresponding value on column H. Now let's go to the inventory worksheet. Couple of things to note here. Make sure you use the corresponding date. This case is December 31st, 2022. Make sure to add the corresponding memo. And in this case, I'm going to be using that suspense account as my adjustment account. Here below, I have the three items that I'm going to be uploading. I already have the corresponding quantities. I just need to add the corresponding values. So for this one is $30. This is just a notice letting me know that I can't use an inventory worksheet if I want to uh, use LIFO or FIFO costing in my inventory. I'm going to click OK because in this case, that doesn't affect me. Now let's go back here, uh, 3,335. And here, 6,440. Uh, I'm going to hit save. Now, if I go back to my balance sheet, in, instead of seeing that suspense account uh, inventory QuickBooks, I now see the correct inventory asset account. Okay, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. And remember, you can also find loads of other accounting software tips on our website at www.fusiontaxes.com.